talked about, all right? This is one circulating light beams and time travel, and then also what's OSETI, O-S-E-T-I, all right? That is actually an offshoot of the SETI program that you might not have heard about. Um, as concerning circulating light beams, all right, that can be used um, for two things. One is we can see that um, circulating light beams can be used for matter transport by using, circuit, by using uh, containment. So in that type of a way, not just a stasis field, we're looking at something similar to like uh, a transporter from Star Trek. That's using definitely the, light, the same column light beam and circulating light beams for actually matter transport. So that's one thing that circulating light beams can be used for. The next is for time travel. That's because the circulating light beams can create closed time light curves. They can start interfering with time, creating time loops, things of that degree. All right. Now, um, interestingly enough, uh, I think when dealing with the concept of this, we want to look at for a reference. I'm always looking for real references that can be found in the media, not this strictly conspiracy stuff. So look, when looking at circulating light beams and time control technology that is on the market, uh, check out Dr. Ron Mallet. I put a picture of him up. Dr. Ron Mallet from the University of Connecticut. A lot of people are familiar with him that he had experience where his father passed early and he wanted to uh, construct a time machine. Now he's not made a machine, but he has made um, a device that has time control technology using laser beams, all right, which is laser beams that is still circulating light beams, and uh, that is can be used very much for what's called superluminal propagation of data, which is sending data backwards through time. A lot of people are doing that, like Dr. Wong from Japan. He's uh, Dr. Wong is looking on a lot of stuff doing with super propagation of information and data that is being done. So check out Dr. Ron Mallet. Uh, check out his machine that he's using with these circulating light beams. Now, taking that forward, all right, and connecting that to something, I want to connect that to what's called OSETI, O-S-E-T-I. Oh, Lord, we got so many SETIs going on right now. We got ESETI, we got uh, SETI, we've got OSETI, but this is O-S-E-T-I. It's an offspring, offspring uh, offshoot of the SETI program, one of the ones you probably have not heard about. And what OSETI stands for is the Optical Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And that is going, what they're using is they're trying to track down things like circulating light beams and lasers and light phenomenon instead of radio signals. Now when looking at the normal SETI, I mean, great project and everything, let's admit that's kind of somewhat primitive, all right? Because the radio signals would definitely start dissipating and scintillating throughout space, intergalactic light years of space, they're going to start scintillating when you have circulating light beams that will not, and it's much more detectable. So when looking at the OSETI program, I find it very interesting, because one is, I want to know what have they found, and what has the SETI program themselves found. Like I give you an example, when I look at the OSETI program, I find that they're dealing with something in, in submarines, in the sub submarines, they have a device out that's called a fiber optic. Oh, hold on, let me make sure I get this right. Fiber, uh, it's a um, yeah, that's right. Fiber, um, a, a fiber optic repeater. All right, and what are they using that for? I put a picture of that that device up, so which means they're looking for these signals in the ocean. Now, why? That's not just strictly to use these fiber optics for laying cable in the ocean. They're looking for something else. They're looking for these. Uh, circulating light beams. Now why? I find that very interesting. All right, so what have they found in regards to that technology that they're using down there? Now, if you want to find out about that, you'll come up against something else that I would bet that a lot of people right now that's listening to this probably have not heard of, all right? And what that is, is the International, make sure I say this right, <laughs> it's the International Academy of Aeronautics, all right? And what that is, is a SETI permanent committee, is what that's also called, which deals with um, the post-detection protocols for extraterrestrial intelligence. So this is a committee that, not just for SETI, but around the world, anybody that finds out about extraterrestrial intelligence, uh, as far as galactic-wise, has to report this to this committee. And if you look at this website, all right, and the website is actually um, avsport.org slash IAA in caps, 
All right, I'll try to put that up here later. But that you look at that and look very closely at the protocols they have up, the members of the committee that you can research. Look up also um, everything, the whole thing, the whole protocols, everything on there. It's fascinating. And most people don't know that this committee even exists, let alone the information that makes it to you and I. So anyway, that's just kind of tying in Osetti to that just a little bit, all right? And I think that maybe when dealing with these circulating light beams, we especially need to think about time travel. And recently, I've been also hearing a lot of people saying that, uh, well, just a couple of scientists that were speculating that high energy plasma is actually using circulating light beams to make crop circles. I think that's fascinating. Can't help it. Anyway, so these are just things to be thinking of when dealing with time travel and a possibility of time travelers from extra galactic and other places coming here using that type of a technology. I did a video on YouTube called Fast Radio Bursts. That could possibly be connected to this also. They can't fully explain that. These are things that we need to widen our perception of, okay? And kind of try to come bring that in. So uh, real quick, make sure I got everything here. Um, that's most of it, actually. I just am doing this right now and talking about this to really ignite people's want to find this out for themselves. This isn't just conspiracy when I'm talking here. You can look up these websites. You can look that up. Look at some of the scientists that are the ones that will approve any extraterrestrial intelligence. They're from all over the world. Look at when it says the committee on, the committee on there, the members. You can look at that. You can research them. It gets really, really fascinating. But the thing is, not just buying what we're being told to where it comes down to people like me staying on YouTube or conferences saying I've had contact when so many of us have had it that have not been allowed to come forward, don't want to take the hassle I've got. I don't blame them, all right? But nonetheless, we need to start being aware of what's going on as far as what's being done to control our perception, especially regarding contact and regarding non-human intelligences. All right, this is big. So I urge you to up, make sure we put this up on the actual video, the website you can go and look at. Because if you just were to type in avsport.org, you won't get what I'm talking about. You gotta put that slash in there with the IAA. It's very interesting how that's kind of just hidden in there some way. Some way. Anyway, so that's what I want to talk about more or less. Uh, thank you all that followed me here. Um, I'm gonna start doing, what I want to start doing that changes this from YouTube is I'm gonna start doing live feeds about this. So the people that come here and follow me here, post your questions, all right? I'll do a live feed about the questions and hopefully we can do a group where we can all communicate. That's what I think this platform offers that YouTube does not, all right? So anyway, this is just something to food for thought <laughs> if nothing else. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to YouTube also.